Okay, we live. Hey friends on Facebook and good old planet Earth. Right now I'm kicking off a live session. Uh, so hey, what's happening? I know I got a, bud a bunch of buddies uh, watching over there and um, all those Asian countries over there and of course my buddies uh, in Europe. Uh, I'm in Salt Lake City right now. If you're on my Facebook feed, you know who I am. Uh, right now we're just doing a worldwide little class. We're gonna do some edumacation. Uh, right now, I like to go live, because um, I'm in Salt Lake City right now, uh, for those that don't know me or, or know where I'm at. Uh, but it's, a, it's just after six o'clock right now. Sure, people nine to five are getting home and they're having dinner, and people in California, it's like five o'clock. But I do record these, these little, little shindigs that we have, uh, because in New York already, it's already eight at night. And, you know, Monday night, Dancing with the Stars, The Bachelorette, The Walking Dead, everybody streams right now. And even on late night, you know, Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy, oh my God, Kimmel and Colbert and everything. Uh, people tend to like go on demand right now, which I love because I, I hate when I'm slave to a TV. Uh, the only thing that's fun is like if there's the Super Bowl or something that's live, like sports, it's awesome just to experience it while it's happening. But thank goodness that there is on-demand streaming, YouTube, pause buttons, and everything else. But when I do my live meetings like this, I, I tend to do it early in the evening, just so I can get a nice little spread of live viewers. And hey, everybody on Facebook are just watching me live. And then, of course, these are recorded. So, you know, 10 o'clock at night, if you guys are just kicking back and you have a half hour, maybe up to an hour to kill, you guys can watch my, my videos and, and what I do. So anyway, let's begin. Uh, what's happening? Corey Draper here. Good to see everybody uh, on my Facebook pages and everyone else just rocking planet Earth. It's a pretty good day, pretty good night, huh? Okay, uh, before we begin, I like to have myself a little drink, have my sugar free Powerades. And for some reason, you know, Gatorade, do you notice Gatorade is like two or three bucks a bottle and Powerade is only like 90 cents, 75 cents. And I can't tell the difference. So, I don't know why Power 8 is so cheap, but man, I love it. So, okay, let's just talk some business, uh, okay? We'll get some of the business, you know, things out of the way. And what I want to do is I want to show you guys some things that I do on YouTube and on the YouTube channels that kind of get you a little bit more eyeballs on your, on your videos or on your Facebook page. Maybe it's Instagram. Snapchat, there's so much social media out there, I, I can't keep up with it. My preference, and it's because I love it, is Facebook. Uh, I link my accounts to, oh, what's it called? Uh, Instagram and Twitter. And you guys know that you can, um, nope, let me, hold on, I gotta turn my phone off. I keep forgetting, I have my phone uh, bleeping here. There we go. Whenever it comes to marketing or doing anything in life, and especially business. If you guys can find something that you just really like to do, man, that is the secret to happiness. I wish that they instilled that clear back in the 80s when I was in high school going, God, what the hell am I going to do? And to me, I had, I had enough education to kind of graduate. Uh, I became a father super early. I actually got booted out of high school. I took a little bit of time off and I realized, God, there's no friends, family, fun, so I went back to high school and I got myself like a diploma. I got a piece of paper that basically said, yeah, you showed up here. Just get out of here. Basically, it was like walk, walking papers. It's like, okay, you know what? You're 18 now, whatever, get out of here. So I did graduate from high school and everything else over the last 35 years, I've pretty much learned the hard way uh, by losing friends, losing money, wasting a lot of time that we can't get back. And that's by far the most precious thing. And I think most of us can, can agree to that. So at my age, going on 53 years old, when I do stuff, I'm running out of time. I don't, I don't have time. I don't, I just, I don't, I don't, I can't go to college and go, okay, well in two years, I'm going to get a this and a GED for that. Uh, IRA and all these other fancy things that if you've had a job, you know, for 10 or 20 or 30 years at the same place, I don't live my life like that at all. I, I, I wish I could say that, oh man, I can retire. I'm going to get 
$1,200 from the government. And then I've got a nest egg of this. I got an IRA and a CPA that goes ABC to BFD, which is OCD. And it's at the end of the day, it's BFD, big <clears throat> deal. So I don't like to live my life like that. Uh, I want to always have momentum and have something interesting to do. And that's if there's something on the TV, the boob tube, which my aunt Alta used to call it. And I don't know why she called it the boob tube because <laughs> back then, I don't remember ever watching boobs on the old TV, but she called it the boob tube. But whenever you go on vacation, you kind of, you know, it's interesting, right? I mean, sometimes you have to go to Disney World or maybe somewhere where you don't want to go, but you take one for the team. You got husbands, wives, and kids, or maybe you're in a big group that want to go to, like, for example, here in Utah, where I'm at, there's Oktoberfest, and it's up at Snowbird Ski Resort. Right now, it's still summer conditions here. There's like a little bit of snow on the very tops of the mountains, but it's still nice and warm up there. Every beer in the world is at Oktoberfest, and Snowbird is smart. It's not like one week. It goes from October or August 17th clear to like at the end of October. So Beer Fest goes on for like a month or two here in Salt Lake City. I don't drink. I do drink Powerades. If they had a Powerade Fest up at Snowbird, I would probably be up there peeing like a racehorse drinking these all day. But my point is that sometimes you do a lot of things uh, that you don't want to do, but you take the high road. And then when you get home, you do what you're good at or what you really want to do. And that's, that's the freedom that I think we all want. So what I like to do is if I do business or if I do anything, it's got to be worth it. It's got the juice has got to be worth the squeeze or the squeeze has got to be worth the juice. When you squeeze that damn lemon, are you going to get juice and make some lemonade or is it just going to be all dried up and, and, and you just throw them, you know, like a baseball. But when it comes to online business or if you're going to do social media things, you should probably post with a purpose, either to entertain or maybe it's scrapbooking, which I look at Facebook because I do advertise on Facebook. It's therapeutic for me. Uh, the last year has been really just a wild ride for me personally, and everyone that knows me knows what I'm talking about. But it's also very fulfilling. I almost feel like a news reporter. Uh, the great Rick Ocasek from The Cars passed away. Eddie Money passed away. Uh, it's life changing because then you can go to the YouTube and check out their videos and just experience why Eddie Money in the mid 70s wrote Two Tickets to, to Paradise. And where did Rick come from? And how did he get with the cars with Benjamin Orr? And you just relive the 80s because I'm from the 80s. I'm 53 years old in a month or so. But I, I love Facebook. And if I'm going to do a business, I want to somehow use Facebook and social media because that's where my eyeballs are anyway. I think most of us, if you're watching my live videos right now, I don't know if we're addicted, but I consider myself addicted. It's not good to be addicted to anything, but man, I love Facebook and I love having my face like this when I go to bed at night. My cell phone's not even within, well, my arms are probably one or two feet long, I guess, unless I'm like one of those dinosaurs, <laughs> but I have giant arms. My, I know my sleeves are 48 when I wear a suit and I can actually dunk a basketball. I think it's all the bananas that I must have ate as a baby because I tend to have the same dynamics as a monkey swinging around. Uh, but anyway, um, my point is, and I, and I always get distracted at telling stories because I'm a story, uh, storyteller, but when it comes down to making video or posting on YouTube, uh, posting with a purpose makes sense because you'll have a better response or you'll just make more friends, or you might have more likes. Uh, if you post something and no one responds to you, you tend to get depressed and you wanna just go ahead and jump off a cliff. Uh, you know how we all are on social media. But my arms, they are a few feet long, and my phone is within reaching distance even when I go to bed. And right now I had to turn my, the, the vibration thing off uh, because I do business worldwide. Uh, I've sold a lot of stuff in Europe and Italy and, and you know, that's the beauty of the internet. Um, I, I have a business in Mexico and I have one here in Salt Lake City and I have one right here uh, in my studio in Salt Lake City. So it's great if you can have multiple streams of income because if one only makes you like a hundred bucks a month, great, there's my cell phone, boom. And if your main job pays you two grand a month, four grand a month, maybe you're lucky enough to make five grand or 10 grand a month or more, 
then great, you can focus on that job. And if you hate it, you know what, at least you're paying your bills, you got a house, you can live for the weekends. I'm not saying, I'm not ever gonna be one of those guys that says quit your job, live the laptop lifestyle. Everybody's different. And honestly, if I did earn a lot of money or maybe uh, one Powerball, I don't think I would wanna retire. I think that I'd maybe travel more and maybe relax, but I would like to do something with that money to make me feel more, you know, just, just valuable. Uh, don't you wanna feel like you're worth a poop? Because what good is it? And I'm not gonna say his name, but my most wealthiest friend that has more money than Shaquille O'Neal and Michael Jordan combined, he told me that he almost had more happiness when he was inventing this product and company when he was growing up in apartments, in college, and the growth of the business because he was with people all the time. They had a mission, they had a goal, they were desperate, there was passion, there was sleeping on the couch, there was you sleep on the, on the chair, you sleep on the floor. It, you know, it, it was almost like, a, what is it, a slumber party? But he told me in private one time, and I won't say his name, but I don't think he'd mind me telling the story. He just said, sometimes I, have, I had more fun building the business when I was kind of on par with everybody financially and emotionally than I am now because now he doesn't have to worry about food. He doesn't have to worry about shelter. He does have a lot of people that will try to get at him, you know, for, you know, maybe investments or money or whatnot, but he's been wealthy a long time. He's perfected the art of, of, of privacy. And, and he's one of my idols. If I could be like someone else other than myself, He's one of my, my, I don't know if he's a mentor, but I really admire the way that he's lived his entire life, soup the nuts. And if you do have extra money and you can go boating or you can go on a vacation, what good is it if all of your friends and family don't? And if you do have enough money where you can obviously bring your wife and kids to Disney World, or maybe you just gotta, you have a boat, and, and I was in the same, I, I made some good money back uh, 10, 20, 30 years ago. I had a boat and I knew that I would have to put gas into my truck. I would have to pay for a lot of people to come. And when I'm on the boat, the cooler, the ice, gas for the truck, massive amounts for the boat. And then by the time the hotel and just coming back and maybe buying a $4 tank top, at the end of the day, it cost me like a thousand bucks a weekend to go boating with my friends. And I, and I wouldn't take any of it back. Sure, you have a couple that are called moochers, and I think we all have people like that in our lives, but how nice is it if you have other people that are making money too? And how I choose to do business, other than maybe drive a truck, I've owned nightclubs, I've been in radio on and off for 32 years, I've done a lot of stuff. I owned a mortgage company. I know exactly what I don't wanna do anymore. I wanna have a, a, a life that's more social, that actually can make more money for everybody involved because it just seems like you have a better quality of a social life. Um, I don't wanna have a lifestyle where only I can go do stuff and I'm just on Facebook all the time posting things and everyone else is like, oh God, I wish I could go or I wish I could do this or that. I would rather have friends with me and we're all Facebooking or doing selfies or you know, there's nothing better than experiencing things for the first time. I love it when people have not had really a substantial amount of money their whole lives. And just to go to Montana to see a river, mind blowing. Or going to Wyoming, everyone thinks Wyoming is just an ugly freeway. <clears throat> well, go north, <clears throat> go up to like Devil's Tower where Sturgis is, go look at where the mountain where Close Encounters of, third, of, of the Third Kind use that mountain where the spaceship was in back and then go like an hour or two down the street, go to Spearfish and, and just check out how peaceful and calm North Dakota and South Dakota uh, uh, is until two weeks in August when Sturgis Motorcycle Rally's there and there's over 700,000 motorcycles, Kid Rock, Def Leppard, ZZ Top and country artists that are mind blowing. And to do that, you need extra money. And to go, there's no fun in really going by yourself. You can, there's a lot of lone bikers out there. They've got their, they're, they're nappy. What do they call like, I just call them sleeping bags, but you've seen the biker that, you know, he's got his leather coat and he's got his knapsack and kind of a backpack and he's got a sleeping bag and, and he's a lone wolf. 
And I'm a lone wolf in a lot of ways too, because I love to be by myself and just think and just chill and just study and listen to music and, and check out, uh, you know, just movies and stuff. But when it comes to business and when it comes to social media, it's kind of a win-win for me because I really enjoy what I do online, Facebook. And like I said, it's all attached to my Twitter and my, what's it called, Instagram. So when I am doing social media, I don't have to spend a lot of time doing it. I do everything on Facebook. I hit a button and everything else just takes care of itself as far, and LinkedIn as well. <clears throat> no doubt about it, all social media is valuable, important, but you can only pick one or two that you like. Don't, don't do LinkedIn if it sucks. Don't go to Twitter if it's all politics and boring. Don't do Instagram if you're just more into pictures. Or like myself, if you like Facebook, it's, it's kind of the best of both worlds to me because I can do live video like this and I can do pictures. I can do a live Facebook, you know, obviously vi uh, view, uh, or I don't know if you'd call this a webinar or just, I just call it a shindig. I'm all about the shindig, but I love Facebook. So I'm going to choose to do a business that I can use Facebook for fun, advertising, social, I'm never lonely. You could put me on an island by myself as long as I have my computer, maybe a cell phone, and you find folks that might be watching me live. It's hard to be lonely sometimes when you have all this awesome technology. And most of it's free, except obviously you got to pay for your phone and your service and your electricity and all that. But you guys, I think you get the gist of what I'm saying. So anyway, if you're watching live, it's about 6.30 here in Salt Lake City. Um, I just want to discuss for about a half hour on what I do for Facebook, what I do on Facebook, and what I also do just on YouTube. And I have training and classes that go more in depth. But what I wanted to do tonight is just kind of talk about a little bit of business, what I do, and then show a couple quick tips, which I think will help your response either on Facebook or YouTube. Those are by far my favorites, so that's what I'm going to uh, discuss. So anyway, Corey Draper here. If you're watching and you've never uh, seen me or met me before, uh, you know, I'm in my 50s. I'm from Santa Barbara. I moved to Salt Lake City in the 80s. I've lived in Las Vegas nine years in Los Angeles. I've done some film work. I've done a lot in the radio business. I've done a lot of entrepreneurship. I've made a lot of money, lost a lot of money. I've owned four nightclubs. I have trucking business, semi-trucks, delivering from point A to point B. Uh, I've busted my ass to make little. I've worked a lot to make a lot just to lose. And I have worked a shitload to make nothing. And you know what? That's what life is. It's a roller coaster. If it was just flat the whole way, like a lonely road in Iowa in the middle of the night, I mean, you know, that can be peaceful and that's nice once in a while, but I, I, you know, life is meant to be a roller coaster and that's okay. So I got a lot of experience. I think when it comes to working nine to fives, being an entrepreneur, or just owning your own business where you have, at one point I had 150 employees about 10, 15 years ago, and I had owned a mortgage company and two nightclubs at the same time. Guess which one I had more problems with? Nightclubs that had people drinking, stripping, partying, smoking weed and back of, I mean, you figure the nightclub business would have more problems? No, I had more problems owning a mortgage company because I had really cerebral, smart people. So when I was doing other businesses, they were always calculating, well, we could do this better. We'll do this. Or I'll take a loan and go over here and fund it with this title company. And I'll do this and I'll do that. Nothing got by me. I'm not, I might look dumb, but I ain't stupid when it comes to technology and where, where homes fund and there's a money trail, especially when it comes to selling and buying homes. And you don't do it in one day. It takes what you guys probably done real estate out there. It takes anywhere from 30 to 45 days, probably just to decide and get the funding and, and go ahead and slam dunk it where the realtor goes. Good. I just got one to 3%. Everyone high fives. You hopefully get your new home and uh, the person selling it is off to another venture. But anyway, I had more problems in the mortgage business owning a mortgage company than I did in radio and nightclubs. <laughs> so do I want a mortgage business? No. Do I want to loan people money at a bank? No. Do I want to be an employee at a mortgage company? No. I don't like to wait 30 to 45 days. If I bust my ass for something, 
I kind of like to have instant results within a week or two, or maybe even the next day. Okay. So the businesses that I try to do now usually pay once a week, or if you're a truck driving, that usually pays every Friday. And in another business that I do, which is online, and basically it's people looking for education. They don't mind spending because they're going to buy it anyway. They're going to go to the U of U, BYU, UCLA, UCSB. They're going to go to um, Yale if they're lucky enough. That's expensive. But never, never try to dictate or decide or try to guess on what people are willing to buy when it comes to courses or education. What I've been doing for quite a while now is just selling information. Okay, there's tons of it for free on YouTube. You can probably share this, share that. People have bought this course and done that. 99% of almost everything online that starts out good goes bad. Everyone says it's usually three to 5%. I'd say less than that. I'd say only one to 2% even follow through on any type of online business. If you're trying to sell something on Amazon or trying to sell a service or a product, maybe you have a dog grooming business and you try online and you don't feel good about it. It's just not working out. Maybe you are a realtor and you just need eyeballs because you sell real estate in, let's say, up on the East Bench. I have this beautiful mountain out to the side of me called Mount Olympus. Let's say you specialize in homes in that area. How nice would it be if people are just searching and they, they want to know, well, God, you know, I like that mountain, Mount Olympus. Let's just look and see what's for sale online without bugging a realtor. Let's just see what's on uh, for sale right now. And they type in Mount Olympus, Mill Creek, uh, East Salt Lake, and all of a sudden your website comes up and says, oh my gosh, here's Corey Draper. I specialize in East Bench locations. That can be done. There's a lot of niches out there. Um, if you think you can just open up a business where people search how to make money online, there's about 7.5 trillion, billion, nonillion, kakillion other people trying to do that. But one of my best examples was, was a course and some buddies that I met that one guy, he goes around, gets a big semi truck and he collects up tumbleweeds. And what he does is he gets as many as he can smash in semi trucks and he sells them to movie sets and whatnot. Because when you think about it, you know, you can't really CGI tumbleweeds. It probably cost too much money. They, you know, let, let, let the Star Wars guys and Star Trek guys CGI all the explosions why Thor's kicking ass and the Guardians of the Galaxy are keeping us safe with another badass explosion. But how cool is that? Somebody sells tumbleweeds to movie sets. And he probably, he probably it's probably 24 hours a day because there's always westerns and scenery that needs tumbleweeds, isn't there? And they, they kind of crumble anyway, so I don't know if the life, the shelf life of a tumbleweed, but it's probably not, you know, 10 years like a rubber tire could be. So um, if you guys want to know what I do, I'll just make it real quick. And then I just want to show you some Facebook and YouTube things that I do. Okay. Uh, a business that I love right now, and I've been doing this in my head for two months. I've been doing a lot of um, armchair quarterbacking. I joined this company two months ago and I just sat on it because I didn't want to get all excited, start paying for advertising, doing hype, inviting friends, family, or even you guys that are watching me live on Facebook, just to kind of join and look at it. And, and it's just not for you. Um, because if I don't believe in it, if I can't vet it, I ain't doing it. And I don't want you guys to do it either because you guys are still my friends. Um, if we do business together, great. If not, I'm still going to be here. And I want you guys to, you know, uh, be happy and sad. And let's uh, talk about the cars and Eddie money and maybe a concert and death and happiness and picnics. And um, I love Facebook. I'm not going to burn this account over doing stupid, hypey MLM shiny ball stuff. Uh, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't my, my cup of tea. It ain't, that ain't my bag. So you can go to freedom, baby. Yeah. Dot com. I'm a big fan of Austin Powers. When he goes freedom, baby, yeah, that's one of my favorite uh, phrases in the world. And I think that one of the most important things in my life, especially when 911 comes, uh, 4th of July, and when I walk out and, and uh, look at Mount Olympus, drinking a coffee, uh, even going to pay a bill, or just to go pick up some drinks, 
or, or, or whatnot, or my vitamins. Isn't it awesome? Freedom is everything. And Freedom Baby Yeah is the name of my company. Uh, I could, can't you guys just hear bad teeth at Austin Powers just going, Freedom Baby Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, click the link. It's a 20-minute video. Watch it. That's all I'm going to say about it because the company does all my training, all my questions. I do 0.0, .0 when it comes to what the company entails and what it does. All I can tell you is that all I do is just, I just, I get people to fill out their uh, information, their email. And if they want to put their cell phone, great. And that's it. I do 0.0, .0 from there. What I do is I market. <clears throat> I get people's eyeballs to look at either their cell phone screens, which they're doing anyway, because there's billboards on the side of the freeway. And then there's those city weekly ads or whatever they're, that, that's free. You know, they're great to read when you're, waiting for your oil change or whatnot. Most of the tribunes are bankrupt. USA Today, I think is yesterday. Maybe the Wall Street Journal, maybe New York Times is hanging in there. Playboy can't even compete. All those great adult magazines, goodbye. Everyone's eyeballs are right where you are on this uh, fine orange $4 shirt that I picked up. <laughs> so, so why fight it? Why try to make people look left when they're looking right? at their cell phone. Why try a billboard when on a freeway, you're driving roughly 30 to 70 to 80 in Utah, 80. Everyone hauls ass here. Billboards are somewhat effective. And if you've got kind of a, a budget that, that can afford that each month, like a jeweler or maybe the big casinos or maybe the there's an awesome uh, sale on things or something. But if you've got the budget, then try a billboard on the freeway. Uh, I see a lot of billboards. I could not tell you what 10 billboards say that I have seen in the last couple of days. I don't remember one of them, to be honest, other than they're cluttered. Um, so I'm not going to waste my money. My, my point is I'm not going to really invest any money on billboards. You should be watching the road anyway, but most people text, then drive. Everyone that says they don't text and drive, I kind of chuckle because I think everyone does, including myself. Shame on us. We need to be smacked. Boom, punched right in the face. But anyway, if people are looking at their cell phones, then why fight it? Let's do a business that, that, that can entail and using these darn things. I love computers, having a nice flat screen that's affordable at Best Buy, having just a good basic laptop, or maybe um, you can buy a badass computer now for 100, 200, 300, 400 bucks used. Even Best Buy brand new, a real basic one works great. And what are they about? God, maybe 350 bucks. And I know that's a little bit of money, but you know what? There's plenty of people that have 70,000 SUVs, 5,000 to go to Disney World. They got a hundred bucks to go, um, to go see a movie with two or three of their kids. So if you want something bad enough, you've just got to get that money set aside so you can get something. You're investing time to either make money or to get more of a social life, maybe feel better, get more friends. But that's what I like about this business. And I said last night on my, on my class, I love this business that I do because it's very social. I get to meet very cool people um, that do interesting things. Some are mothers, some are fathers, some are surgeons, some uh, uh, like the artist Christopher Lassen. Oh my God, he draws those badass whales and dolphins and stuff. And I, I got to meet the, the guy that uh, wrote the famous song Incense and Peppermints by Strawberry Alarm Clock uh, in Denver. I mean, you, you meet all kinds of people. That's the most random crap I think I've ever done in a webinar. But I love the social aspect of this business. And no doubt about it, if you make money along the way, great. The business I do, the minimum I make is 500 bucks and more. Okay, go to freedombabyyeah.com. Just put your information in there, click it, watch the video. If you're interested, great. If not, don't worry about it. Don't worry about a thing. No skin off my bum, no skin off your bums. Uh, but let me just show you a little bit of stuff that I do on Facebook and YouTube, all right? So I just gotta share my screens and whatnot. I gotta look down, I got eight screens in front of me because I have a live radio station right next to me running literally. So I gotta kind of babysit that at the same time. But I'm just going to share my screen real quick. Uh, let me go ahead and click this one right here. Let me see if it flips over. 
All right, just takes a second. My computer goes kind of slow sometimes. Uh, let me just uh, shut down some screens. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead. And right now you guys should see, I'm gonna just put up my main Facebook <clears throat> page. Can you guys see it okay? All right, let me go ahead and just click my name and that'll go to my home page. Okay. All right, there we go. Now this is one of my pages. I've got, I've got a bunch when it comes to Facebook. Uh, you know, I got business ones. I have my radio show. Um, I own a company called Pure Rock Radio, uh, but I mix them all up. You know, I don't really separate them that much. Um, I will talk about business. I will talk about music and I'll talk about my personal life on all of them because I believe the more you think that I am a real person that can, you know, either be, uh, maybe you can get a hold of me one day or maybe you can reach out and you'll know that I'll help you. Um, but you know, if you're a paid actor or if you're a guy that just kind of hides behind his camera all the time and, and he just never, he's just a hermit or maybe she, I, I'm, I don't want to be that way. I, I want you guys to know that, you know, I'm a real leave, living, breathing person here. That's fighting laryngitis. Um, as I sit here uh, talking to you fine folks. So let me take a drink real quick. How's everyone in the chat room? Hey, everyone on Facebook. <clears throat> Gosh, dang it. All right. When it comes to Facebook, all it is is like a live scrapbook to me. Um, I like to use colors. If you notice, whenever I go live on my, on my camera, do you see this $4 shirt? It's bright electric orange. Now, I love the 80s. I love Skittles. But I believe if there's something interesting in your video, uh, color-wise, that you're going to have a better chance of, of getting attention. This beautiful studio right here it has a red counter, and I try to position my my uh, cover so that it's nice and balanced. You can see my name there, my big old fat forehead with the giant receding hairline, and then Pure Rock Radio is the name of my company. So I just build this myself. You know, you don't need fancy equipment or nothing. You can just do it on any software that comes with Windows or Mac. But um, if you guys need help building something like this, you can go to Fiverr. Just, you know, F-I-V-V-E-R.com, you know, for five bucks, just about anything under the sun. And that's a whole other class. I mean, I could go on and on and on, but, but it's always important to have just a really nice, interesting cover. And it could be a puppy. It could be your kids. A lot of people are shy. And be honest, you don't like what you look like. That's why people have cartoons or maybe a picture of their puppy. I have a lot of friends that look like Shaggy. I have a lot of friends that look like Scooby. I have friends that look like Thor <laughs> because it is. Um, I love it when they have a real picture. And if you're going to do business, I recommend that you go ahead and just get used to hating your looks. If you got a Photoshop and put those filters on with the bunny ears or you know how they smooth out the lines. You, do, you, do you guys have friends where when you look at their face, it's so smeared that they look like they're 17, but they're 60. <laughs> so I get it, man. We all don't probably look like, look like what we look like. But if you're doing business and you want to just meet some real nice friends out there, and there's a lot of good people out there, a lot of scumbags, but you're going to meet a lot nicer people that contact you and get a hold of you, even if you, know, if you want them to. But I, I recommend always just putting a nice smiling picture, nothing crazy. Yeah, don't put two or three people in here because sometimes you don't know, you know, if, if it's, it's like me and two of my buddies boating, people don't really know which one is me. Maybe I'm the middle or, you know, since I'm left-handed, maybe I'm on the right side because I hold my cell with the left. But on a pitcher, I just recommend just a nice normal pitcher, nothing fancy, kind of center it. And if you're smiling, just not cheesy. Don't pretend you're at Sears. I know all the girls, they were taught in modeling class to say the word prune, and that makes your lips kind of pucker like a duck. I've heard it all, but just put a nice little smiling picture of yourself. And if you hate it, good. We all hate our pictures, so don't worry about it. Just, just find a real nice one, okay? And then when it comes to your, your, um, your cover, I think you guys know that the more interesting it looks with nice colors, make sure it's shaped. Because see Pure Rock Radio right there? When you hit update cover, you know, I'll hit it. See where it says reposition? See how I can make it go down and that pretty table's gone and all the fancy equipment. And then see the Pure Rock, I don't want it like up there, you know, so you can guys see the computer mouse and whatnot. So 
you know, just make a concerted effort. And I think you guys all know this. This is just really common sense when it comes to building just a really interesting, clean Facebook um, page. So, and this one is just for a personal profile one, which I think has just tremendous advantages, even over the business ones. Okay, and then hit save changes. Then what I do is I also go to my cell phone and what I'll do is I'll just, I'll type in or I'll, or I'll just go to my Facebook page and make sure it looks pleasing just on my screen. I have a, a, a Samsung Note 9, what, the bigger screen, they're like six and a half inch, but you guys have, uh, you know, everyone has their cell phones within an inch or two of the same diameter. They're all rectangle and there's probably only cell, two cell phone companies out there left that even make the darn things anyway, but, but uh, make sure your Facebook cover is pretty pleasing on your cell phone as well. And uh, I think you'll have a just a little better response, people digging your what you got going. Now, when you click the cover, I'm kind of addicted to clicking the cover to see if uh, what people do or what what they represent because a cover is kind of your personality. Now, I love radio, I love surfing, I love bikini girls on the beach, I love Corvettes. I mean, all of my covers are always something that I think is just really fun and something that I just, I love. I can't wait to switch my cover sometimes. Um, but on your profile picture too, I like to click it because if someone from my high school days I haven't seen in 30 years, first thing you do is you usually click their photos or you click their profile. And then what you do is you try to go back and see what pictures they've been using. So here, I'll, I'll use, I'll show you mine, my big fat forehead. Okay, you ready? Okay, I just click my picture. And I think it's fun. Okay, there I am in my ACDC shirt. I got a little shorter hair. Um, there I am with, with my producer, JT Hiskey. He gave me his love shirt. Um, there I am looking tired as usual in my Kiss shirt. Uh, you know, there I am. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I think I ate burritos or something. But I just try to have just a, a normal picture where I'm either smiling or looking tired. You know, I'm not going to Photoshop. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I mean, you can't get any more tired looking than that. But just try to put a picture up. You're just smiling, man. You're just having a good time. It's all good. And and uh, and if you hate your picture, then just go ahead and just have one there because I get it. Um, so nice, smiling, basic picture. Make sure it's big enough so people can kind of squint and kind of see it if they're on their cell phone. And then when it comes to your cover shot, if you do want to put, you know, pure rock radio or something, it's up to you. But obviously, if you're into vacation, maybe a beautiful sunset in Hawaii, or if you're doing business about freedom and making money online, then, you know, how many times do you see a beach, someone's sitting there, or I love the guys that are the full of poopers, I like to call them. They have the Lamborghini and the cash and all that stuff. And then they have like jewelry. And then on the back of the Lamborghini, it says enterprise car rental, <laughs> or they got the mansions, you know, like the great Ty Lopez and all these guys that really do have that kind of money. Everybody tries to emulate Gary V with high energy or people want to go ahead and get the Lamborghini lifestyle because Ty Lopez is successful doing it. So everybody wants to be like Ty. But uh, when it comes to Facebook, be yourself. Uh, I was always worried about lighting and looking tired. And does my hair look appropriate? Should I wear a ponytail so that I don't look like a rock and roll guy? Should I try to hide my tattoos? I, I went through all of that. Um, because your insecurities are always going to be there, no matter what. If you're a guy or a girl or a kid or even a grandma, there's probably 80-year-old uh, ladies out there that, you know, they do their hair nice and they might have a wig, but I've seen older people, they just want to look nice and presentable. So if you hate your appearance, man, let's just all get together and man, let's just all hate together. But, um, but just do your best to be yourself. Uh, I'm a big fan of color. I know that the back of this wall, if I went to college on how to do Facebook videos, they would give me an F plus or a G. And the reason why is because I have a lot of distracting things behind my big fat face right now. I've got Ted Nugent here. I've got the cars from American Graffiti there. I got the red hot chili peppers that look scary. Like, oh my gosh, is he a devil worshiper? Look at the demons and the horns or over, you know, let's see right here, James Bond gun, Hummer license plate. And um, there's a lot of distracting stuff. Well, you know what? I, I thought about taking it down and getting a chalkboard and getting an eraser and, 
And that way I can get off to the side of the video and I can go, guys, this is how you do this. And I write it down and I look real important and I have a ponytail and I have a nice collared shirt on and I sit and I write all this really cool stuff that 0.0, .0 is comprehended at the end of my little chit chat session with you guys. Because I believe that if I can just get your eyeballs just to talk with me like this, like we're friends and, and, and believe in what I am trying to either teach or, or, or do, when I look at your Facebook, it looks real. You look like a real person. If you're struggling, I love it. Admit it. If you're doing a video and you get lost, like I don't even use notes. I, I just come up in my mind what I'm going to talk about, and that's good and bad. Now, when I have a time frame, like in my radio days, I have to talk in, in sheet or get off the pod, as my daddy would say. Um, or if I know I'm having a webinar and I've paid for one hour, I've got to go through the beginning, the middle, and the end, 59 and a half seconds, I'm done, boom. But when I do little chit chats like this, this is just like, hey, you guys are over here in my studio, we're sitting on the couch, we're all eating or having a snack, and we just kind of talk about certain things that might help us to achieve either more views or more interaction, more likes, or maybe you need to sell something, okay? Um, and like I said, I love Facebook and, and, and uh, this is my favorite platform. I'm using a software that's just called Zoom. It's been around a long time. It's, it costs me about 15 bucks a month. Uh, I think with tax, it's like $16.50. And then when you start getting a lot of people watching, over 100, it's only a little bit, a few bucks more. Uh, there is other uh, software out there that's free, but this is the software where I can talk to you live on Facebook and I can also, also share computer screens. I can show you something. Instead of me showing you all this, how left, and I have crappy writing, I'm left-handed. Oh my gosh, I got the worst writing. I'm so jealous when people write and they have perfect penmanship, even guys, it pisses me off. Guys, we should have crappy, crappy handwriting. Girls are always big and they circle the eyes and everything else, but us guys, yeah, we have kind of probably crappy handwriting as it is anyway. But I would rather just click on my screen and say, hey, guys, look at what I've already written and share it, screen save it, right click it. There's free software off to the left of my screen. It's just called Jing, J-I-N-G. And I'll write all this down at the end of this little chit chat here. But Jing is free. You download it. There's no spam. There's no crazy crap. But what you can do is you just hit a little uh, yellow button and it blows up and you can just kind of share your whole screen or you can just highlight like uh, this motorcycle here. But you know, all it does is just, you just point, click and kind of, you know, kind of crop on what you want to say. So when I do webinars or, or whatnot, I always have like, you know, notes taken before. Uh, so if I have something to teach, I just say, hey guys, here's the screen, go ahead and screenshot it. Or at the end, you guys can just go get it later. But I'm a big believer <clears throat> that if I have that fancy chalkboard and all those badass things that make me look like I just I just know the Pythagorean theorem mixed with Einstein's relativity of science, <laughs> no one gives two sheets when I'm done. They just want to go ahead and save, come back to it, and study it, and see if they can learn something or get even one thing out of the 400 things we might discuss. So. When it comes down to my webinars, I know that when people are just randomly going through Facebook, I know that when my live feeds are on, I've got a big old live button right here. I've got color that kind of gets people's eyeballs. And I know that I get an F on all the pros and probably science majors, rocket science people at the U of U who are teaching. They haven't made any money, but they make money teaching you but they haven't really made any money doing what we're trying to do. So I prefer just to be myself. I'm not saying the way that I do video is, is good for you or bad for you. I just like to be real on my videos and, and just discuss personality. Look how you want. If glasses like these anti-glare glasses make your eyes feel better, they do. I don't need glasses yet. Um, I probably will down the road. Um, I would even like the sunglasses, but I don't want to look like a guy trying to be, you know, Mr. Too Cool for school. But if you wear glasses, wear glasses. If uh, your hair and makeup is uh, making you feel good, then do it. Wear a hat if you don't like, if you're balding. Um, my head is so shiny right now, I'm probably like 
you guys are watching this video, you're like, God, get your head out of the video. But the problem is I have these big ceiling lights in a commercial building and they're the worst because they just, they make everything like look red. I look like barbecue sauce half the time. So you can go to Amazon, spend, don't even spend more than 50 bucks on lighting. There is so many great lights and systems on Amazon alone. And I can put links to all that. There's a donut, <coughs> a donut bulb. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like a donut. It looks like a donut. It's a circular bulb. That's it. You can put one just off to the side of you. And it's amazing how nice and soft it gets rid of all the shininess, all the cracks. You'll always get like big, you know, dark um, rings. And that's why good light techs in the movie business, um, you know, if you have lighting above, it's going to make you look tired. And it's even if you don't have dark eyes, but, but, but you see when you lean back and this is a bad example because I don't have good lighting right now, but if you put lighting a little more level with your face or just a little below, not so that it's a distracting, but if you have lighting that is more equal to your face on par, all of a sudden it's just equal and your lines are not so dang crazy and you like what you see. Um, because the biggest hurdle for people that have done business with me over the last 10 years is they always say, I hate video. I don't want to be on video. I don't feel good sitting, talking. How do you sit here and talk to a screen all day? You just get better. And, and you know that there's some people watching and you can, you know, if you're live on Facebook, you can chat right with people in the chat room live. I have the chat room off right now, but with Zoom software, you've got live chat. And I've got live Facebook. So man, I've got just the greatest group of people watching right now. And you can take questions and answers and whatnot. So just over the next couple of weeks, what I do is I just like to give some tips and hints what I do to kind of help people with Facebook and YouTube. Um, I don't really focus on anything else. I'm addicted and love Facebook. And I absolutely love YouTube. And with Zoom software, you know, if you got 15, it actually comes to 16. Cause it's like 15 plus tax. I just know that I pay just like $16 and eight cents per month so that I can have the software to talk to you guys in my personal classrooms, webinars, invite only, or I hit a little button on the bottom of my screen and it says live Facebook or live YouTube. All I do is hit live Facebook and boom, you know, all the information saved from just doing it the first time. And it asks you, you know, what do you want to do? I just put share it on the wall. And before you know it, here I am live with my students, my private invite onlys, and uh, the whole planet. And of course, my, my special friends that I love on my Facebook channel as well, or my Facebook, you know, profile, you know, whatever it's called. So, so over the next week or two, I just want to tell you guys, you know, just a little bit of stuff that I've learned over heavy usage of Facebook. Um, to get where you can get a real good organic one, two, three, four, and 5,000 people asking you to go ahead and accept their friendship. I know for a fact that if you have 5,000 friends, 4,000 of them are not even seeing anything you do. I know for a fact that if 2,000 people request to be my friend right now, um, out of 2,000, 700 of them are fake, misleading, catfishing, they're from Nigeria, Guyana. I can see the IP addresses. It's a hot spot in those countries. And I've begged Facebook, just get rid of all the pipelines from all these countries that have a verifiable, addicted behavior to scam and scam. If I get another supermodel wanting to be my friend today with six friends, and she's a supermodel. Some of these scammers are so stupid. They'll get a picture of like Christy Brinkley or Christina Aguilera and go, hey, how are you, dear? And then they say kindly. You know, they don't even know how us crazy Americans even say, you know, we're more like this. Hey, what up, bitch? <laughs> Later, alligator. You'd have more success, you scammers. But anyway, I want to tell you how I vet and how when I accept people to be a part of, of, of my live scrapbook, which is Facebook. Cause that's my, that's my universe. That's my end all be all because then all my business and social aspect and entertainment, it's all around the Facebook universe. There's a Marvel universe, DC comics that in my little universe that I have is Facebook. 
and I, and I love it to death. And I love all you guys just watching this live and stuff. So if you guys are tuning in, I can see more people coming in off my other feed. Um, Corey Draper, that's my name. I'm on Facebook. You guys can Google. I know I have various accounts, but if you see a tired guy in an ACDC shirt, kind of smiling cheesy, that's the account that I'm on right now. Please friend request me. And, uh, you know, let's see what's going on, you know, in the entertainment business or maybe doing some business. Uh, what I've been doing is just freedombabyyeah.com. Okay. I simply have a company that sells education to people. I don't talk to them. I don't sell it. All I do is I stand in front, my website does, and says, put your name, put, put, put your email address, and the company does everything else. There's zero for me to do. I don't want to do anything else. All I want to do is if people join, I want them to get a hold of me because I enjoy talking to people. Now, in a year or two, maybe I just want to clam up and just want to vacation a little bit, or I just want to just binge watch on Netflix and don't be contacted at all, I can do that as well. So the way I do business now is I pick and choose on who I want to actually associate with. And if you guys know me on Facebook, I'm already chatty. I just absolutely love all you guys and we don't even do business. So that's why I like to do business and personal pleasure, the same thing, because I'll always follow through on my business on Facebook because I'm here anyway. <laughs> How many times have I been here on my Facebook, either crying or yelling or screaming or whatnot? So let me go ahead and uh, share my screen a little bit because um, I just wanted to meet for an hour today and just kind of talk about Facebook and YouTube and what I do to get a better response. So let me share my screen. Let me flip on over real quickly here. Okay, you guys should see my Facebook page. Okay, we discussed a little bit of um, how the cover should be. I think it should be centered. Always make sure it has high pixel rate so that it's not blurry, okay? Because how many do you, how many, you know, let, let's try to find an example here maybe. Let's see, uh, um, oh God, I don't know. But anyway, you know what I mean when someone posts pictures all the time and they're blurry, doesn't it drive you kind of crazy? So if you're designing your own cover or even your profile pitch, just do the best you can to get a nice clear one because it just looks so awesome. These cell phones now are badass, man. 4K technology. Uh, even the crappiest monitor at Best Buy just kicks ass. So I just recommend a really nice picture that's clear, face, and your cover. Okay, now, how, when I Facebook, like I said, you either Facebook like me or maybe you just want to build a business page only. I like to mix everything together, and it's not that I want to scramble up things and, and mislead people going, well, God, wait a minute. He's talking about Rick Ocasek dying. And then like all of a sudden, here's a live webinar. Okay. I know that it's like, well, okay, Corey, is this a business account or is this a personal account? Or is this a capture page where you're just trying to get information from people so that Facebook can send them ads or whatnot? And I'm like, no, um, this is a believable account. This is an account where if you come and if you comment or look at my pictures, I have over 40,000 pictures on this Facebook account. It's, I've had it, I think, since 2008. Um, I'm followed by almost 3,000 people. And do you see that right there, 4,900? In a week or two, I've got software where I'm gonna nuke it because I know I nuked this down to 2,000 people a month ago. I've had almost 3,000 people request to be my buddy and I can tell half of them are scams. So imagine if you're watching right now, you probably got one or 2,000 that are just scams or they're just dead. And even if they're your buddies, they're probably not really addicted to Facebook like all of us are. Uh, it, you know, I like to use my dad, for example. I think he has a Facebook account, but he checks it once a year and it's by accident. <laughs> so, you know, there's a lot of people that have a good intention to come on Facebook and see what's going on, but you just lose interest. Sometimes you just don't even give a crap about social media. And then sometimes you just want to do it for five years straight like me. I love to post. I can't wait to make you guys laugh or bring something to the table that maybe will be interesting. So um, here's my live webinar. It looks frozen right now. Um, underneath that, I'm a really good friend on Instagram with the model Paulina Poroskova. She's been my favorite supermodel forever. What are the odds that, God, her poor ex-husband Rick, the lead singer of the Cars, passed away? So. Uh, you know, obviously I think we all know the cars 
they're, they're just a guilty pleasure. They just had some of the best 70s and 80s pop music of, of, of all time. They ruled MTV. And I just, I feel real bad because Paulina, Paulina she's really good friends with her ex-husband. She was the one that walked in and found him passed away with two out of his six sons. You know, six, yes, six. Uh, you know, he's married a couple times before Paulina. But I just, I just posted this. Um, you know, she just described what she saw and that the family's okay. So I, I go ahead and put that up on my Facebook wall because I think it's meaningful to me and I hope it's meaningful to you guys out there. And if you guys are my friends before business, I think you guys all know that Eddie Money and Rick died within the last seven days. And it's just nice to read this real quickly and go, God, you know, that's awesome. Pavlina was there to the end. He died peacefully. And then what I do, I don't like, okay? See when it's like that and it's just like this? When you like it and it turns blue, it's okay, but it's not that earth shaking to the algorithm of Facebook. This is how you put some salt and pepper and give it some stang. You want to smack its ass. Go ahead and highlight it. And you see that red, that love sign with the algorithms of Facebook. This is the most passionate, the most dynamic, uh, you know, click or like out of, okay, smart ass, ha ha. This is, oh, wow. Okay, here's a little angry and here's thumbs up. What I do it's not that I love that Rick Ocasek passed away, but I just, I love Pavlina. She, she's given me uh, 5 million pictures of just beauty. And uh, she writes me back when I write her. And right now I love it. So if you notice, whenever I acknowledge you guys writing me on Facebook, I love everything because I want the algorithm to be as high as possible to make Facebook know that yes, even though maybe I have not met, met anyone on Facebook, that I do love what you do and I want it the, the best, most dynamic, like, yes, I love this person. So Facebook goes good. Then your posts need to be presented to the, well, Marlena, if you're watching, I've never met you, but I consider you a great friend. We go back and forth almost daily on stuff. Um, and then right here, Eddie and the cruisers. So what I did, I just saw this, uh, you know, I saw the worst movie ever made called Mayday the other day. It's, it's brand new and it stars this actor right here, Mark, Michael Paré, or Paré, I could never say his name right. But he's the guy here singing in Eddie and the Cruisers. And I saw this and I, and I went ahead and I just clicked share, okay? And after you share, this is what you should do to kind of just wake it up a little bit. Go to your Facebook page and you see those three buttons right there? See where it says edit post, okay? Click edit and you guys know what I'm showing you here. Now see where there's nothing, there's just nothing going on. Be sure to tag if you have any other accounts. Now I have business accounts, radio show accounts and everything else. So everyone's like, why do you have so many accounts? It's like, cause I, I just have multiple jobs and I have multiple things I do. And then I have a Corey Draper one and whatnot. So, so go ahead and share it on all your walls, you know, and don't share it on people you don't know because that's kind of like spamming. You know, you should never put anything on anyone's wall ever unless they tell you to, you know, there's nothing worse than getting crap mail in your mailbox. And there's nothing worse than when people post on your account without permission, it actually gets you pissed off, admit it. So what I do is I go ahead and tag. And, um, and then uh, right here, you can put obviously something like, I always like to pose a question or reminisce in that I'll just put something like this. Uh, do you guys remember how great this movie was and make sure the spelling's good and everything and you know i look at that and i think like god you know what that's awesome now watch this you hit save okay okay do you guys remember how this how great this movie was now what what will happen is since you're kind of asking a question you'll have the kindest people on facebook your friends or people you've never met start posting comments like, like, there's one of my best friends, Jeff. I went skydiving with him the other day. Hope I grew up with. Look at all these people. 43 people right there and 14 comments already. Look at that. Love, love, love. See, Karen? Hey, Karen, if you're watching this, you know what? I love it. Post it. Love it. Becca. God, right on, man. Love her, man. She, she was cool enough to read your post and put great movie. That probably took 15 seconds out of her life. And you know what? She's on your Facebook wall in your post. So go ahead and high five Becca. Look at Brenda. Streets of Fire, that is one badass show. I've got to see that with Diane Lane. I remember that as a killer one. And Brenda, um, with that one is so special to me. 
And if you guys remember Streets of Fire, I'm gonna put, uh, you know, thanks for reminding me of this movie. And I mean it, I don't fake it, I don't post shit just because, oh, the algorithm, and I want everyone to see what I do. I do not know Brenda, but you know what? She's on my Facebook page. She just did a really cool thing, and that's remind me of a badass movie. So you bet your ass I'm going to put, thanks for reminding me of this movie. Okay, and then boom, look at it. There's Jolene. Love this movie. Love it. Boom. Right now, look at all these people. They just dig watching this, and we have a nice little community. That's what I mean. It's a live scrapbook. So don't, don't post something and don't go back and love it. Because all it's going to do is just, you know, Facebook's going to think like, okay, well, you shared a video. But, you know, if there's not a lot of responses and everything there, you know, what's the point? You know, and then go ahead and kind of look at all your buddies. You know, don't, don't be shallow. Don't think, oh, I don't care who posts on my page. I don't care. I'm busy. I just want to post Eddie and the Cruisers. Look at that. Jeff, my buddy. Hope, my buddy. I know Cresha. Look at that. Bill is with me all the time. And Brad, love Brad. Just a cool dude in Florida. Um, Miranda, Tiffany, all these fine people here. Jackie, I just I just barely got to know Jackie. She's so cool. Uh, and there's Becca that I just, uh, you know, but see all these people? Um, half of them I've never met, but I really do like to just chat back and forth with them. And, and look at Jamie. Jamie, uh, I've never met her, but she was kind enough to go live on my Zoom feed the other day so I could test my camera. You know, and thanks, man. There's Jamie. So get to know your Facebook friends. They are real people. They're not like customers. Oh, they're people that might buy stuff from you. Or, oh, they're an annoyance. Uh, no, these people are cool enough to come to your page because right now there's 2.9 billion maniacs on Facebook. I'm one of them. All right, love it. Look, there's Jamie right there. I can't wait. You know, then with Jamie, she's, you know, I, I, I just, I'm just going to put can't wait to see you up at Camus. And that's because... I think it's Toto or Jefferson Starship. All these great uh, play, uh, bands are playing up by her home up in the mountains. You know, but yeah, do a little comment. You know, if you guys got time to watch Netflix and Walking Dead and sit and just, you know, stare at the computer screen for an hour or two, you know, treat all of your people like they're friends of yours because they are. Because if you run into these people uh, in, in a food store or at a movie, they're going to come up and high five you. If they're driving down the road and they see you with a flat tire, they're going to give you a ride and help you. So I, I, I don't like to take advantage of anyone that's kind enough to post regularly and get to know my Facebook. I like to post with a purpose. And like I said, I, I treat it as a, as a scrapbook. I make sure that my pictures, that they're always centered and they look good on my cell phone and on my Instagram, or not Instagram, and on my home computer, which I'm at right now. But see Eddie Money, look at that. He's a cop before a rock star. There's the beautiful Pauline, Paulina, when she probably just married Rick Ocasek for one or two years, probably around 1989. Here's one of the most famous albums autographed of the cars. Here's Rick looking badass. And then, then there's Eddie Money. Now, you wanna do this as well. Okay, see, okay, this is a share, which I like. See, Marie, she went ahead and took my post and she reposted it on hers. And look at that, Marie shared a post with Corey Draper. I had the honor in meeting Eddie, such a fantastic meet. It'll be in my heart and soul forever. How cool is that? She took my post, which is a couple scrolls down. And Maria, I don't know Maria, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and love it. Boom, love. And, uh, and just say, uh, and just something simple, like, uh, like that's a great memory, Maria, because it is. You're not full of shit, and you really mean it. Don't take my advice and start posting it if you're fake. If you're going to fake and make it and just be an ornery butthole, don't, don't do it then. Just be kind of, you know, grumpy on Facebook. But don't do that, man. If you got someone that shares your post, how cool, man. You know, I'd love to meet Maria and talk about Eddie Money and, and Eddie Murphy and anyone with the name Eddie, and especially Rick, because I love the cars. Okay, uh, look at that. Elaine shared with me. Look at this. Corey, I thought you might enjoy this song. How cool is that? Go ahead and love it. And then I'm just going to put, I'll, uh, I'll listen to it after my uh, live Facebook uh, chit chat, you know, something, so just something like that. And I know that this takes time. 
and I don't do it on every single thing because I get I get thousands of likes and posts and messages. I average 50 to 100 inbox messages a day. Has nothing to do with business. I just love to talk to people and see where they're at, what they're doing. We talk about everything from death to happiness to events to music to what's going on. Do you have any gossip about this concert? Who's playing drums in the next, you know? These are real people that, that, that love Facebook and maybe they don't have friends because they're older and all their friends are married with kids or, you know, the older you get, you're just not really as social. You almost, it's not that you lose friends, it's just that people move on. And when they get their own friends and family and so on, um, it's natural for you not to talk to your best friend as much as you did in eighth grade or 12th grade. You know, even the movie Stand By Me, if they showed everybody in current form, it's, it's like in real life. Uh, River Phoenix has passed away. Corey Feldman is all over the place doing crazy stuff. Um, what is it? Jerry O'Connell grew up to be like this handsome guy and not the pudgy kid. That's how real life is. I love Facebook because it's me. It's live. I've got friends for, uh, from social media and I've got friends from like the early 70s in Santa Barbara that write me to this day. I like to share clips like this. Here's Rick uh, singing My Best Friend's Girl. And uh, go ahead and share it on your thing, but then tag if you have other accounts out there that you are in control of. And if you don't, if you just have one Facebook uh, thing, then don't worry about it. Just go ahead and put a little title. I just shared this for examples. So what I did is I, I saw this video. I hit share. See where it says share? And obviously when you share, it'll ask you where do you want to share it. I just put on my homepage. And then what you do is you go back to it. Click those three little buttons, edit the post. If you put a subject, Facebook likes that. It means that you have more passion for this video than just hit and share and moving on with your life. So I hit tag. And when I hit tag, see that? I got my tags, boom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put something because it shows Facebook that I'm so passionate about this post that I actually, spent 14 seconds and typed something. Um, well, let's see, my best friend's girlfriend. Um, this song kicks ass. Boom. See that? I tagged it to other, you know, Facebook posts. This is just like hashtag, you know, hashtagging for Facebook. You can do all that, but I'm not into Instagram. I don't have time to hit hashtag hot, hashtag the cars kick ass, hashtag, hashtag. I'm not into that. I don't know why, but I, I, I can't stand doing all that hashtagging. I love Facebook, so that's what I recommend to you guys. Do what you love, because then it's not even a pain in the ass. It's fun. This song kicks ass. Um, and then put something like this. What is your favorite Cars tune? You know, ask a question. You know, because sometimes there'll be an obscure, crazy thing, like the dangerous type. I forgot about that song. Last night, someone said the dangerous type, and I just about crapped my pants because I forgot that really is one of my favorite car songs. It was never really on the radio. But man, I want to high five that friend that I've never met because that person just gave me something that I can't pay back. And that's music, man. Music is like, I love, I love music, I think, even more than, uh, than, than movies. They're, they're both equally as exciting. So there you go. Look, I got Bill. There's my good buddy Marlena. So I'm going to love, love there. That way she knows. And uh, see, there's one comment, and, and right now this is new, but you can see a handful of people are already sharing. Tina, Marlena, you know, there's my buddy Jan and Debbie and Annette. Oh, hey, Annette, and Michael French. But it's good to see people. It just means that they're digging what you posted. So acknowledge it back. Give them love. Don't give them a like. Like is bullshit. It just, like is just, it's so overdone that Facebook is actually considering getting rid of it. Same with LinkedIn and all the other people. Because when they don't get likes and stuff, it makes people depressed. I don't get depressed. I want my algorithm. I want all my friends to, to, to come to the party. You know, if you got 3,000 friends, but only 500 can get in, and you got 2,500 outside, that ain't a party. I'm going to go outside. You know, screw the party. I, I hate invite-only bullshit. So um, here's another post. This was the last writing that Rick Ocasek of the Cars did before he died. He liked to doodle. And how cool is this? This is just from Paulina Poroskova's Instagram. This is a note that Rick scribbled a day or two ago at his chair before he died. And she posted it. 
and from his son. It said, our dad was prolific doodler. He, his passing was sudden and unexpected. We love him so much. I just thought this was really special. And I thought that my friends on Facebook would really dig it. So I went ahead and, and got the picture of the doodle. There's the message from um, Pavlina. This is directly off her Instagram. And I just thought, you know, this is kind of cool. And look at that, 32 people. You know, you can see their names pop up there. They just thought, hey man, that was really cool to read. I'm kind of like a, I'm like a National Enquirer news reporter now. That's why I love Facebook. I can bring Instagram and Snapchats and man, there's so many social medias out there. My head's gonna explode. But you can see that I post with a purpose because I love Kiss. I was made for loving you is the funniest disco song ever made. There's my good buddy Chemistry. She's a sweetheart. And uh, look at that. There's other people commenting and sharing and whatnot. But love it back. You know, see there, uh, Chemistry? I put love. And, you know, there's James Wright in Chemistry. Sorry to use you guys as examples if you see this live video. But look at that. He put a funny little girl. I love that. You guys have all seen this. Is it a meme or a gif or whatever? But I'm going to love it. See that? Highlight it and love it. That means with James, I think it's funny as hell. High five. I'm not going to like it. Like it's like a cheesy thumbs up that means you don't give a shit. Go ahead and high five. High five to me is love. Bam. Slap hands like it hurts. Because the algorithm will love you. You want everybody else to come aboard. And, and uh, this one's funny. I posted this one just because it's two little kids. They're sharing um, a drink. And look at this poor little kid on the right. He's crying his ass off. Look at that. Then he shares it. Now look at his, look at his twin brother. He starts crying. <laughs> Boy, imagine dates. I hope they don't like go out with the Barbie twins or the double mint twins. But look at that. Oh, my God. It's, ter it's horrific. Now look at it. Now look at him. He's on the ground. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's chaos. How can you not love this? I had a person send me this. And you can bet your ass, man, that I'm going to go ahead and love it. Janet loved it. Linda loved it. Uh, my good buddy, uh, is it Elise? I always say your name wrong. But look at that. 21 people have already just said, man, that's funny as hell. You can see their names right there. So I just love it. Um, and then, like I said, you can get back to, to music. Here's Ozzy. Um, you know, getting famous again with Post Malone with his new show. And then there's my webinar from last night. Okay. Now, here's another thing that I recommend if you're, if you're posting either on YouTube or Facebook. And I know this video is long, and it, you know, but like I said, uh, you just kind of pause it. You can go back. You can either get this off Facebook or YouTube. I'll, I'll leave links to it. But see, when I, whenever I do a post, do you see how much spacing there is? And do, do you guys know the difference between like, like a Salt Lake Tribune or a New York Times where there's just a million letters and the font is small and it's just, there's only so much page. So they just put a million words all crammed together. Well, when you have a little breathing room and you can edit your own posts, I just believe that having proper, proper spacing and less is more, unless you're copying something verbatim, but see how I just put, you know, real stuff like last night, watch 20 minute video. And then there's a link to my company, freedombabyyeah.com. And then it's simple. My post is if you're shy, you don't like talking to people and you hate sales, period, this program might be down your alley. Let's see if we can put some money in your pocket. That's all I need to say with my new business here. And then see this when you do a live feed, you can go ahead and you can tag, okay? Now here's another way to tag because some live video stuff, if you use different software, or if you tag and your names just don't pop up for some reason, here's another way to tag yourself. If down here, when you edit, there's no way to tag. Okay, now let, let me show you this trick. Okay, I did a live. Okay, you're just gonna see me edit this. Okay, here's the video I did last night. Okay, I did it like four in the morning because I was doing it for my European and Asian friends. That's on all 14 hours ahead. Okay, see, I just go ahead and type right there. Okay, now, see my name, because people will write me and go, hey, how come you tag yourself all the time, or how come your, your name is at the bottom of your post? What does that mean? And right now, see, there's no way to tag this video to my other accounts. This is like hashtagging, for example, if you're doing Instagram. Go ahead and do this, C-O-R-Y. Okay, now I have two other, three accounts, the one I'm on now, and these two right here. Well, I, I feel this post should go to all of my other Facebook accounts. So see, when I just put in Corey, obviously I've tagged myself before, 
And there's other Corey's like my good buddy from Alta High School, Corey Bakke. There's Jordan, Corey Jordan, John, I mean, sorry. Well, anyway, tag. Now there's two other accounts. So go ahead and hit enter, put Corey, and look at that. There I am highlighted again. And uh, there's one more I need to tag. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Now look, when they're highlighted like that, that means that when I click done, it's going to go ahead and all of my accounts are going to get this video right here on the wall. Okay? Because there's no way to tag it. If you saw, see, look at right now. You know, I can't do nothing. All I can do is share it or love it. But you know what? I want it on my other accounts. So that's how you do it. That's a nice trick. And, uh, and you know, and it's not really a trick. It's just something that you can do uh, to help you spread your message if you want to, you know, obviously share it on other pages. So hit done. And you can see right there, there's me, Corey, and then there's my other two as well. Okay, so boom. So there's my webinar from last night. You know, I got uh, tons and tons, over two, 300 uh, messages and people, you know, asking me questions. And then I'll, uh, you know, <clears throat> like I said, my, my profile is, you know, I love Legos, I post about it. The cars passed away. I'm gonna obviously talk about Rick and Eddie Money. Rest in peace to both those great guys. And, um, and then here's an example of something I do when I post on Facebook. So there's more saturation because, and this is what I mean. Let me just show you what I mean. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. See how when I post, I always make sure that it's nice and clean and there's, there's spacing. I don't put all these words together because on a cell phone, your screen's only so big. And if you look at that, even from far away, Eddie Money and Rick Ocasek, legendary musicians and singers gone. But like they say, their music will be alive forever. And that's just true. It's something that I believe. I wanted to post it, but I want it to be easily readable. So if people are scrolling by real fast, they can just read it and go, God, that's right, man. They are legends. Okay, now that is just on the, the, the wall here of these five pictures. Okay, now highlight it. See all that? Right click, copy. Now, if you don't do this, I already did this before, but after you post and you have multiple pictures, make sure that they look good. Because if I put this picture up here, it might cut off Pavlina, Paulina's face. If I put Eddie here as a cop before he was a rocker down here, his body might not be centered. So what I do is when I put five pictures up, I hit post. I don't edit it all the way yet, but I wanna make sure that all the pictures kind of look cool. You know, so you can see Eddie, you can see her beautiful face and Rick smiling. Here's two legendary albums. And I love Rick in the middle, man, all those colors and stuff. Cause he looked cool. This was the height of his fame. He had the hair. He was just the king of new wave and pop rock. So I love these five pictures and I love the spacing and the, and the, the way that they're just positioned. Okay. Highlight right there, whatever you're going to post. I've already copied it. Now click each picture. Okay. <clears throat> okay, you can see how it's individual now. You guys know this. You can tag it. Like if you want to, if, if Eddie Money obviously has a Facebook page, you can highlight his face and put the word Eddie Money. And if he does have a Facebook page, you can tag it. Um, in my case, I don't want anyone to tag this picture. I just want people to read what I posted about it. So right here, this is what it normally looks like. This is after you post a bunch of pictures. <clears throat> okay. It looks like this. So you've got all five pictures spaced. You like what it looks like. You have this phrase right here. Now, when people click these pictures, there's nothing. There's just nothing. So go ahead and click each picture and see where it says add description. Since I just cut and pasted, just paste. See, boom, and then hit done. Okay, and there you go. And then look, my good buddy Clint, one of the best guitarists in Utah is checking in. There's Laura Lee and and some other friends like Sevian and Tamara, Ta Tamara and uh, Dan, Dana, uh, or Don, sorry if I'm saying your name, I think it's Dana, sorry Dana. But uh, you know, and then go through all five pictures. Now see, I've already done it in advance, but when you post multiple pictures, make sure you click each picture and you put something in the description because Facebook's like, okay, he cared about this picture, he put something here, it's just all about algorithm. No one knows exactly how the algorithms are at Facebook except for probably the expert programmers, and they've probably got a contract that just says, if you even peep 
one thing on how to get more views or any secrets to Facebook, you're fired and maybe go to jail for all I know. But I know this, the more you post, the more you like, the more you share, and when people respond back, that algorithm is hot. It just means, wow, he's a real person and he has real friends and what he posts, let's go ahead and put it on that person's feed. So when they're scrolling, going to the bathroom or sitting in bed reading, uh, or like my video right now, if people are scrolling and they can see me in this bright orange tank top just talking, maybe they'll go ahead and stop and listen to what I'm saying. So when it comes to Facebook, you got to post, but then you got to post kind of with a purpose too and have a little bit of, uh, you know, you just got to do a little bit other than just like share something and go on your way. Because all you're going to do is get like a thousand to five thousand friends and with your algorithm being so weak and so mute, it's going to be just bleh. So here's just one more example. Underneath, you can see all five pictures here and you can see over 167 people. And that's really good. I'm really happy with that. I mean, 167 people gave a poop to stop what they're doing, look at my post, check out the pictures. And you know what? When they post, I'll see what they have. And uh, when April, Tanya, Cindy, I love Cindy. I, I know Cindy. I know Jennifer, uh, Diane Gonzalez, beautiful. Uh, and happy birthday, by the way, Diane. Um, who else? Lisa Marie, I know. Diana H Hamilton, I know real well. Um, all these people right here, half of them I, I, I personally know, and the other half are just my Facebook friends. But I've went back and forth with them for a month, some of them five or 10 years. And it's awesome that we can just share memories. Because look at this. Here's Marie, I had the honor of meeting Eddie, I'll never forget. I'm not gonna like that, I'm gonna love that. How cool is that, man? Look at her smiling right there, look at those cheeks. If I met Marie, man, I go, Marie, I'm gonna squeeze those cheeks. And look at Eddie Money, man, just a badass. You know, he passed away two days ago, or, or, about, or I'm sorry, about a week ago. But I love that picture. So don't like it, love it. That way Facebook knows, man, you really dig that picture, and Marie's a real person, I'm a real person and that the algorithm with me and Marie is nice and active so she can see what I post and vice versa. So there you go. So I just, I like to go through here, you know, a handful of times a day, 50 times a day, whenever I have time. Um, but you can just see that obviously yesterday was overwhelming with the death of Rick. No one really saw that coming. Uh, no one really knew that Eddie Money would die so soon. We thought he'd be there, but there's Troy, man. I'm gonna go ahead and love that. Boom, he posted two hours ago. I just want Troy to go, hey man, good to see you brother. And the song Drive is badass and he probably sat and watched the video. So good for Troy, man. I'm glad that he spent some time and came uh, to my Facebook page and, and uh, commented on mine. There's a couple more. So see what I do? There's Libby, good buddy. Hey Libby and Sue. Both these girls are active and they're, they're nice. They say good things with me and they always have positive stuff to say. Um, but this is just so cool, man. So anyway, uh, when I post with a purpose, it just really helps out. You can see here's another video that I did a couple days ago. Look at that bright red, you know, just bright red and bright yellows. And, 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 and sure, uh, you know, a rocket scientist at a college will say, hey, Corey, you know, you should have a chalkboard behind you, not all these distractions. Okay, it's just not for me. I'm going to put Ted Nugent's ass in back of my face and I'm going to put the, the picture of the red hot chili peppers live with Nirvana from 1991 when they're unknown. So I have my way of doing stuff, that's all. Be yourself, hair, makeup, if you're tired, if you have to do yourself up, or wear a, wear a nice collared shirt, or you think that you have to be stiff, and just sit and talk on the camera from a script, you know, screw that. Just put the camcorder on, put the webcam on, or talk into your cell phone. And remember, you don't have to post it. Um, when, I, when I'm on this software, you know, this is called Zoom software, uh, or if I'm just posting live on Facebook, uh, I don't have to, I don't have to have it live. I can actually record it, which I'm doing right now, and talk to nobody. And then obviously if I stall or stutter or whatnot, it's recorded, I can actually edit it. Like let's say I just forget what I'm doing and I'm so embarrassed that I just have to edit out 30 seconds. Or maybe I'm saying a crutch phrase like, and uh, well, and uh, coming up, uh, post with a purpose. And, um, you know, sometimes you just do crazy stuff. And when you watch yourself, you go, God, I hate the way I look. And I hate the way that I talked. I sounded phony. I wasn't believable. 
or I was using too much humor when I was trying to get a, a serious point across. Um, you just get better the more video you do and just learn to learn to hate with a sense of humor. Because like I said, you're never gonna be happy with your hair and makeup and all the displays and all that stuff. I just recommend just do what I'm doing right now. I just have like, I don't know, probably a $60, $50 webcam from Best Buy. Um, let's see, I think it's called a, a webcam. I can't remember, I can't see the, the front. It's, it's like two feet in front of me, but you know, if you go to Best Buy, they have webcams that are 50 to 200 bucks. Basically, the cam part is is pretty much the same because I looked into them. When you spend like 100 to 200 or more, it's usually because it has dual audio and all this cool stuff. Now, when you get a webcam that has a built-in microphone, which this one does have, it sounds a little bit more like this. It's a little more mono and it's not as dynamic. Now, what I've done is I spent 50 bucks right below my screen i've got this chrome beautiful badass microphone it looks like one of those old fashioned ones where the crooners like elvis would sing into it or frank sinatra and they're at best buy they're like 50 bucks and what you can do is you can place it here or over here but it has a diaphragm to where it it records just a little more fabulous you know so i prefer an external mic or is it a lanyard? I always say it wrong. You know those mics that you could just clip here on your shoulder? Those are cheap too. Go to Amazon, you know, for like 20 bucks, you can buy one of those if you need to. But I think that the more video you do, just listen to yourself. And if you want a better quality, just get a microphone that's not built into the webcam. But they do have webcams that have badass microphones built in and they get a little more expensive. But if you have the budget, go ahead and buy it bring it and use it for a day or two. If you don't like it, just bring it back. Best Buy is more than happy to stand by it. That's why they're one of the only places left besides online where you can go in and pick up a TV and pick up a microphone, take it home. Um, that's what I've done with Best Buy for years and years. The employees don't care. They know that when you buy something, you want to be happy with it. Uh, but if you buy a microphone and you hate it, then take it back. But I think Best Buy is like, what, 15 days? I think for a couple of weeks, it's a non, they don't give a crap. It's just like, hey, is it in good shape? Is there defects? You know, but I just recommend testing because I can tell you a microphone that kicks ass. And uh, sometimes a $1,000 microphone sounds just as good as a $60 one. Uh, just go to like a Best Buy if you have one. And if not, um, you know, just start out in baby steps. Get yourself a webcam. A lot of laptops have them built in. They're usually not the best. Usually when you have a laptop, they're average at best. Um, unless you have a really expensive laptop where they really do pony up a killer microphone system in a beautiful you know, webcam. And I can get a better webcam and I probably will down the road because right now I know this one's okay. It's like, it can be semi blurry sometimes depending on this. You know, right now mine is crystal clear at 4K, but I know at the end of the day, wherever your cell service is, or if you're on a Wi-Fi, or if you're on 5G, 4G, or whatever, you know, my video is only gonna be as clear as whatever your streaming ability is anyway. But don't, don't, don't spend crazy amounts on a webcam in the beginning. If you got 50 bucks, give it a shot. And if you hate it, get your money back. Um, because you know what? All this stuff I'm talking about, you can do just on any cell phone. The crappiest cell phone is good enough to do what I'm telling you about as far as Facebooking, or maybe doing business like I do, freedombabyyeah.com, okay? Uh, so don't get all tripped up and think that you have to invest in proper lighting, proper sound. I've got to get $100 this, $47 that, because you can really nickel and dime yourself. And then what you do is you kind of come up with a lot of chaos to where you start stalling on purpose because you really don't want to start making a video or you really don't want to start doing anything other than what you're already comfortable with, which is probably just posting and sharing links and asking, you know, how's Judy, you know, how are the kids? Or, oh my God, did you see that? Uh, you know, did you see Def Leppard, you know, the other night in Las Vegas? I mean, um, but if you're into Facebook, if you can Facebook with purpose, and that goes to YouTube as well, because I got a lot of tips on YouTube uh, and uh, thousands, I could, I could spend thousands of hours of what I've learned over the last 10 years from absolute, really successful, normal people. They walk the walk, they've all attained hundreds of thousands 
most of my friends that I learned from have attained right around three to seven million dollars, all at home, all starting just how we are, just talking about things and being real. The day of the big Lamborghini and fake it to make it and having a scripted professional late night infomercial or having a webinar or, oh my God, there's only 17 people online that make money and that's because they've been doing it for 20 years and they have a list. They have a secret list. And what they do is they contact that list and say, I need to make $1 million this year. I need to make 80, 90 grand a month for 12 months in a row. And they have this secret list. And all of a sudden they have a million dollars. And then all of us are like, God, I, I can't do it. Because I had to drive a truck. I had to go to work. I had to raise my kids. Um, I'm retired or I have health problems. I'm just chronically tired all the time. I have many friends that are just exhausted 24 hours a day because of, of, of what they have and they can sleep all day and they're still exhausted. And I totally get it. But if, if you want to have a business that you can control, you can own, it doesn't get dated. It's not the pet rock. You're not trying to sell cassettes and CDs come out. You're not opening up a CD store when these stupid MP3s come and wipe out the album and the CD and the A-track tape. Um, but if you're going to do a business where you want to make some money, I prefer selling information. And that's what I do. Freedombabyyeah.com. And I own 91 other websites that sell other certain things. But my main hub that I'm kicking off right now is just simply there's education. People are going to buy it anyway. I just hope that they buy it from me because I get 50% of whatever they purchase based upon the level of information that I have bought. I spent $1,000 to buy level one course. I get 500 of that. If I have three people this week, just buy the course for $1,000, that's 1500 bucks. Can I get three people on the internet between friends, family, oh my God, the internet, social media, uh, postcards, who, I mean, there's so much out there, but do you think I can get three people to just put their name into a capture page? And all that is, is like, Corey Draper, here's my cell phone number, I hit click. The company does everything else. There's zero for me to do other than out of my boredom or my, my insecurities there that if I don't talk to a hundred people a day, that's true. I'm, not, I'm making fun of myself, but I, I think I am insecure. I love to meet people and talk to people um, in my orange tank tops. <laughs> but if I don't meet new people every week, I feel weird. I really love to feel like I'm still important and valuable and interesting enough to where people go, God, nice to meet you, man. Hey, that was awesome. I'll see you on Facebook. Oh my God, that was awesome with the cars, man. Thanks for bringing up those rare songs. I mean, I really enjoy the social aspect of being on Facebook. And when it comes to business, it's nice if you can use Facebook. And I'm talking for free because all this stuff I'm doing right now don't cost me jack. Other than I went to Best Buy and bought some computer stuff. I was crazy enough to get this old phone. Um, and I wasn't shy enough to just go ahead and just sit here and just talk into my darn webcam. Or how many have you guys done this? Okay, how's the kids? Billy, you hit your sister one more time, I'm gonna come back and bitch slap you back to first grade. Okay, we've all talked into our phones or we've done crazy stuff or we've all filmed a concert, you know, but don't, don't be shy and don't worry about, you know, not being good at video because the business that I do, you don't even have to do video at all. I'm just telling you kind of what has worked with me as far as getting me out of my shell, whatever that might be. Um, and I think it's very th therapeutic to sit and talk for real with you guys, regardless of if it's business, it might even be just about your personal life, your health, or maybe just talking about how badass it is to be alive right now, where we can go to YouTube and watch kiss videos, cheap trick, or maybe some bubblegum music from the 60s. Listen to the Beach Boys sing uh, Help Me Rhonda in 409. Um, but that's what I love about business online because I'm here anyway. No one's twisting my arm to sit here for an hour and chat with you guys. Not one person. 
I just, I just feel so great when I can just sit here and talk with you guys. So anything that I've learned over the years when it comes to Facebooking and YouTube, I'm just more than happy um, to share with you guys for nothing. Because I know that if you ever want to do business with me or be my friend, I know that whatever I'm sharing with you will get you a better response or trust me or maybe just help you going, God, I don't know why I was posting all the time and I'm not getting any likes. I'm getting no algorithm. All right. I'm going to show you something. Okay. Uh, it costs you money. It's going to cost you about 30 bucks and it's 30 bucks a month. So if you have 30 bucks and you want to try something, uh, I suggest you do it. And like I said, I, 30 bucks is a lot of money. You know, you can buy a lot of bread, peanut butter. You can buy a movie and sit and just love the brand new Star Wars coming out. But 30 bucks makes sense if it can wake up your algorithm and help you on Facebook get more people into your life, either just because you want more friends or you want people to look at your posts or you want to do business. Okay. So let me, let me share my screen. Okay. You guys, uh, you know, like I said, if you're, if you're busy, you guys can take out, I'm just going to go ahead and just keep recording some stuff. Um, I'll do specialty videos about all this. I'll have the, one of the creators of what I'm about to show you on as well, but I'm going to show you what helped me out. I deserve, I, I mean, I can't wait because he deserves for me to go like this. High five him. He's my uh, buddy's son. And this really woke up my algorithms for my radio shows. Okay, let me share, let me share the screen real quick. All right, guys, let's, uh, let's cruise on over to this page. Takes me a second. Hold on. Okay, I hit the share button. Okay, let's see. Okay, you guys see my, uh, you know, I'm just on uh, Chrome. What is it? Google Chrome. I mean, they, they dominate. Who doesn't have Google Chrome browser? Okay. All right. And uh, Robert, this is for you, little buddy, if you're watching my live feed. Okay, do you see right up here? I'm highlight. See where my mouse is? I don't know if it's showing up. Okay, I'm just going to click it. Okay, whoop, I don't think I clicked it hard enough. Let me try it again. Let's see. It might not. Okay, oh, there it is. Hold on just a sec, guys. It's going to take a minute. Okay. This is 30 bucks. And you can try it out. And if it helps you, then you're going to, it's going to be the best 30 bucks. Trust me. I had no idea just how important it was going to be. Okay, I've got, I've got my radio show and my live feed. Um, my computer's going a little slower than normal right now. So let me, uh, let me, uh, let me see if I can move this. Hold on a minute. Okay, I was going to try to move it down. Okay, you guys can just see this right here, right? Okay, it's called Social Blade. All right. You guys can search it. It's for sale online. It's not hard to find. Social Blade. It's about 30 bucks. Okay, do you see this? Post in the last seven days, two weeks, one month, three months, six months, 12 months. What I recommend, spend the money and get this software. You know, you can either book it in your other bookmarks there, but what I do is I just, I just put it up here. You know where Google Chrome says, do you wanna have the extension? I just put yes. So right there, you can see the little line up there, that little circular thing. I think it's a ninja with a blade. <laughs> so. All right, social blade. Now what I can do is see where it says inactive friends, message, add friends, cancel requests. This is all stuff that's automated and there's no way that you could even like do all this. Even if you have one or 2000 friends, it would take you a week just to go one by one to either get rid of dead posts or go ahead and message them. But with this great software, um, you know, like if you just wanna write a hundred people a day, you can go ahead and do that by hitting the messaging button. See right there? You know, select friends that you want to send it to. Hey, this is uh, Corey. I've got something I want to tell you about. Just click this link. Boom. Message 100 people in one second. Okay. Now, sure, that's been around online. That's just one nice thing that you can do. You can add friends, of course. Okay. Um, inactive friends. It's funny, but do you see all these right here? This is not, this, this is an old one. I, 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 I'm going to go ahead and just delete all that. But this right here, see, so you go to the home button. This is social blade. 
let's just say you want to clean house on people that haven't even been on Facebook in a year. See right there? You just highlight uh, last posted 12 months ago. Just do that because why would you want all these people crowding up your algorithm and giving you a false hope that you have 3,200 friends and right now you don't even have anyone on, on Facebook for a year? Why even six months? Three months I can see. Maybe you got a job, maybe you're on vacation, maybe you're sick, or maybe you're just sick of social media and taking a break. But what I did is I did baby steps. I go, I'm going to get rid of friends that haven't been on in a year. And man, when I got my algorithm back, I went, oh my gosh. Then I said, well, screw that. If they're not even on Facebook six months ago, why would I even want them crowding up my algorithm? So what I did is I took Social Blade here, 30 bucks. I went ahead and I cleansed and got rid of all the dead, gooey, sticky, cancerous, disgusting, dead accounts on my Facebook on one of them. Come back, I'm looking, I go from like 5,000 friends, I went down to like half. I got rid of 2,500 dead accounts. And, and it's like, oh man, I had 5,000, they're all real people, I think. And you're like, well, yeah, maybe they are real people, but they're just sick of Facebook. They got rid of it or they changed accounts. Or maybe they just hate your guts because you post too much, I don't know. But why would you want all these people as friends if they're not even on Facebook at all. So I took Social Blade here and I got rid of everybody that hadn't even been on Facebook doing jack squat in six months. The next day, I go from 5,000 friends down to about 2,300, something like that. I lost like half of my friends. Instantly, I am posting. My algorithm is like on fire. It's like the, the same degrees as the sun. And it, I am getting requests from all over the world I'm getting people going, where have you been? Oh my God, I didn't know you were on Facebook. These are people that I grew up with, like in the car business or my nightclubs. This isn't like 35 years ago at high school. I'm like, you guys, you didn't know I was on Facebook? My God, I post 20 times a day. The algorithm was so stale from me having 5,000 friends where 2,500 of them were dead, you know, that Facebook's like, you're lame. You have 2,500 dead friends. Why would we want to wake up your algorithm? You're, you're like boring. <laughs> it's like, so I got rid of all these dead accounts. All of a sudden, every day, I was averaging hundreds a day, 1,000 a week. It took me only two weeks to get over 2,500 people up to what? It's at 4,952 as I'm sitting here making this video. And I would say out of the 2,500, 30% are easily from Nigeria, Guyana, or those countries where they just love to pretend that they're supermodels or they, they say kindly or they call you dear. They want you to go, is there any way you could send me a hundred bucks because I have an illness? I mean, they're just scammers, that's all. There's scammers everywhere, don't let it bug you. Just because you have 30% people scamming you, they stick out like a sore thumb. They, they don't spell that great. They always have the same template, hi there, or what's up, or where do you live? They ask all these dumb questions that like, well, look, if you're requesting for me to be a friend, don't you just look and see who I am and kind of go through my Facebook page anyway, just to kind of get a glimpse. So when you use this software, Social Blade, you know, it's about 30 bucks. Go ahead and install it real quick. Takes like five minutes. Get yourself your favorite drink. Go ahead and click that bottom post where it says, get rid of uh, inactive friends and let that software do its business. Could take five minutes, could take 10 minutes, could take a half hour. I can't remember how long it took for me, but all I know is that I had something to do after I clicked and I came back to my computer and I scrolled back and boy, what an eye-opening experience. When I saw how many people that I thought just were posting all the time had not even posted in a year. In one click, I went ahead and got rid of all of them because it organically, one by one, eliminates everybody you don't have to click them, hit unfriend, then it's embarrassing. You almost feel bad like getting rid of someone that you don't even really know. This software does it all for you. You do nothing except ask how far back you wanna go. In this case, if you're looking at my screen, there's six months, three months. So I went ahead and got rid of all of my dead stuff. I've got so many new friends from around the world right now, and a lot of them just wanna talk business or what's going on, or I just have badass friends now that go from Thailand to New Zealand to China to 
gosh darn Montana up the street from Utah where I'm based out of. But that's just another tip. It's just called Social Blade. It's not expensive. You guys probably have 30 bucks. It sure in the hell beats you trying to try to get rid of all your dead accounts anyway, because how are you even going to tell? So anyway, um, Robert, my buddy, he and his uh, partner uh, invented and created this. And boy, it, it's just awesome. I can't wait to meet Robert. His mom is a sweetheart and she's super successful in the same business that I'm talking about right now. So there's just one more little tip. Hopefully that helps you guys out. And you can see right here, you know, when you have all this bright red activity, people wanting to join you, people inboxing you, um, you know, the algorithm's just always going great right now. And I, I owe a lot of it to Social Blade. Okay, so there's just one more little tip. So just to recap, you know, make sure your cover page has good placement, it's clear. Hopefully it's interesting and has nice colors. If you do have like a little business you wanna put, like I own Pure Rock Radio, I just positioned it right there so it looks kind of cool. Um, I recommend always using a real picture. Don't filter it. Don't use it from 20 years ago. Don't be putting rabbit ears and all those weird faces and making your eyes look bigger like a cute, adorable little bunny. You know, just be yourself. Um, you know, just smile. Don't, you, you know, or just look away. Maybe you're fishing or you're overlooking the Grand Canyon. But uh, just be yourself. Don't, don't be afraid to be yourself on Facebook because you're going to have more friends, more genuineness, and you're going to be more successful if you're doing business, okay? So um, if you post, just try to, you know, if you're going to post, see, see, this is from Paulina, but do you see how all the text is just all together, kind of like a newspaper? You know, um, when I have to post a lot, I just like to, to space everything out really nicely. So you can see right there, there's just spaces, and there's not a lot of words that, that, that fill up space um and I, it's just for easy it's just easier for people to read that's all you know and then i'll just show you one last thing because i know you guys are busy but uh you know i do the same thing on youtube um i'll do a whole video on youtube because i've got over ten thousand subscribers some of my videos hit millions which pays me enough money where i don't even have to work almost through youtube you know where i my, my overhead's pretty low right now in my older age I don't have finance this. I don't have mortgages and crazy stuff where, oh my God, I've got to have a fancy SUV because Bob across the street got one or, uh, you know, I mean, but you can monetize YouTube. People got to realize that when you get 4,000 subscribers or clicks or views, there's a whole algorithm and I'll, I'll show you about it. That's it, another hour video, but I can show you, you know, a good way to go ahead and monetize your YouTube account or channel, whatever you want to call it. And it's awesome. Um, it's just, you can see there, I got about 10,000 uh, subscribers, which is more than enough to make income. And it just comes down to posting how-to videos or interesting things, or, you know, it, you can be an entertainer. It's like you're in charge of NBC, CBS, or Netflix, you know, whatever you post, if it has an entertainment value and people come and click it, how cool is that? You know, and, and you can see right here, see everything that I put below my video. You know, how to make money online, no sales calls or customer contact. Just watch my video. That's the first thing I tell people to do. Just click it. And if you like what you hear, then great. Let's do something. If you have questions, go ahead and call the number because, you know, you're going to put your information on there. They'll email you. Or, you know, it's up to you on how they contact you. But then below it, see how it's all spaced. And I just, I put a space, then I put a little sentence in a space. I call it just the National Enquirer way, where it's all just a lot easier to read than like a big old huge massive newspaper like the Wall Street Journal, for example, you know? And then I end it, hey, take it easy. I just, I like to, I like my emails or my, my little messages to people just to be like, you're my buddy. You know, don't make it all stiff. Like, well, you should come here and be here and do this. And if you do, you'll do that. And you know, just, just, you know, kind of like write how you're just talking to your son or daughter, or your best friend. And if you want to put ya instead of you or talk to you later, you know, then put YA. Cause if you're kind of fun and bubbly, maybe you do that instead of like talk to you later, you know? And if you want to abbreviate, I, I love when people go do Y O U quit using the letter U. I'm like, Oh my God. Go go away before I put like a big massive piece of pudding 
pie in your face, you know, if you want to abbreviate, then abbreviate. Be yourself. That is the trick to, I think, just being cool and happy, regardless if you're doing business online. Just be yourself. And if people dig you, how cool is it where you don't have to change and be all fake and dress up and get a chalkboard or, you know, there's a time and a place for that. If you're in court getting in trouble, dress up and I've got a ponytail and or if I'm doing something, maybe uh, maybe there's a wedding. I, I'm sure I won't show up in an orange tank top. But but if you can be yourself online, I, I think you're just gonna just get a kick out of it, and you're gonna crave it. And you're it's almost like a therapist. You get to talk to your friends out there. And God, I just love I love social media and and Facebook and YouTube are my two favorites. So that's what I that's what I like to focus on. So so anyway, let me uh, let me uh, get off the screen here. So I think that's enough for now. I just wanted to spend a little time tonight. It is Monday, Dancing with the Stars. Isn't it more like Dancing with who? There's always a couple. I know Hannah from The Bachelorette is one of the dancers and she'll probably get voted off early, but I'm not the biggest fan of Dancing with the Stars anymore like I used to be, but there's still the ending of Bachelor in Paradise. That's how shallow my life is. So I can't wait to watch that. And if it's all fake and bull crap, I don't care, man. I love it. I think the Bachelorette in Paradise, Bachelor on the Moon. I wish they had old Bachelor. You know, I'm almost 53 with gray hair. I mean, God, look at all my hair's falling out. I'd love to come on the beach <laughs> and, and have pretty girls pretend to like me so we can be on TV. But I love the Bachelor. Um, the, the finals, I don't think, is tonight. I think it's tomorrow night. My good buddy Val told me about it. So... Uh, but I know you guys are busy. I always have little powwows in the daytime for my American uh, side of things, uh, or Canada, and all those countries that are kind of similar time zone as me. And then uh, in the middle of the night, I'm always up uh, teaching stuff and doing videos for all my buddies in Europe and, of course, in the Asian countries, which are easily nine to 14 hours ahead of us. So, but right on. If I can help you guys with some Facebook posting, uh, or YouTube, or just anything, you know, if you have a question, I've got about 10 to 15 years invested um, into getting some pretty good response when it comes to just eyeballs, looking at your Facebook posts, or just getting someone's attention to either, you know, buy your product or your service or whatnot. So, all right, well, I guess I'm done for now. God, you know, uh, it always starts out that my drinks are always ice cold. And then by the time I'm done uh, sitting here yapping away, my drinks are like, uh, room temperature, but that's all good. So, okay, that's enough for now. Um, if you guys would like to do uh, biz with me and stuff, uh, I think it's pretty cool. Just go to freedombabyyeah.com. You can check it out below or above. I can't remember. I think it's below my video, isn't it? But yeah, click that. And, and if not, I just, I love to shoot the, shoot the sheet and talk to you fine, fine friends anyway. So, all right, um, I'm going to go buy me some more $4 tank tops because every time I do a video, I'm like, God, I hope I'm not in the same tank top every video. So this one, and I was in red last yesterday. This will be my tropical orange Florida, you know, uh, color on this one. So I, now I got to go probably buy three or four different tank tops because they're cheap now because it's almost winter. So, okay, guys, take care. I'm going to go watch Dancing with the Stars, and then I'm going to really get into Bachelor in Paradise tomorrow night. We'll see you guys soon.